Hello, yes, Richard Spencer is a bogus white nationalist. Just like Matthew Heimbach, Nathan D'Amigo, Angelo John Gage and many, many more. Remember Angelo John Gage and his videos, they'd be an hour or two long spout nonsense that didn't produce any results. I'll give you a few examples. Do you remember that one? You recruit three on Facebook and they recruit three. Then they recruit three and by uh, the end of the year, you'll have all these thousands of new recruits. Well, anyone that's been around as long as I have, no, that's a load of nonsense. It'd just be people wasting their time again on social media trying to recruit all these people you're not going to more time wasting which this is what the enemy wants us to do all on the internet wasting time but anyway another one was don't be an ism don't be a white american be a greek american an irish american a polish american but don't belong to nothing again it was uh, advice that would produce no results it was just nonsense and he made many, many, many other similar videos spouting nonsense that would produce no results. And that was the purpose of it, was to just keep you there achieving nothing. Now, yours truly got onto him. I could see right through him. And once I brought this to the attention of people, he pulled all his videos from YouTube. That's how scared he was because I was onto him. I don't know what he's doing at the moment. Maybe should, I should go and have a look, but... He was one that was so obvious Stevie Wonder would have seen through him. Sure he did. Uh, now, Richard Spence and all the rest of them, what have they brought us? What have they brought the movement, the cause? What? Charlottesville, hail Trump, more silly statements and embarrassment, embarrassing comments or whatever. That's all they've brought us, like I keep saying, violence and embarrassment. Also as well, their aim and the aim of Richard Spencer's controllers and the rest of them, the Southern Poverty Law Centre, that's who Richard Spencer and the rest of them, swines all work for, the Southern Poverty Law Centre, which is probably an arm of the ADL if you ask me, but anyway, uh, the aim also is to rub off on Trump, to associate Trump with all these weirdos, neo-Nazis and deviants and violent thugs, they haven't brought anything to the table that would help Trump, would help the white nationalist movement in America. Nothing. The complete opposite. Now, if I'm wrong, please show me. But I'm not wrong. Right? And our enemies are massively powerful, financed, organised. They, they have got agents and people at work for them probably by the thousands maybe the tens of thousands i just don't know we haven't and we find it difficult and hard to believe so many can be spies that are in our movement well, i'm afraid they are richard spencer being one of them angelo john gage another come right out of the, the marines like nathan D'Amigo and right uh, to the officers of the Southern Poverty Law Centre. How they get there, I don't know. The transition from the armed forces to the Southern Poverty Law Centre. Who's the intermediary? I, well, I don't know. I just don't know. But that's where they came from. Angelo, John Gage, Nathan D'Amigo, many others. Straight into the officers of the Southern Poverty Law Centre. And then they start their disruption, right? tarnishing us as i say with nonsense neo-nazis and violence and then um giving people silly advice that will produce no results like don't be an ism remember that one or you recruit three and they recruit three and uh, no one ever recruits anyone it doesn't happen so it's hard for our side to believe that all this is going on but when you look at the power of the adl then I think then you understand what we're up against. And the Southern Poverty Law Centre, no doubt, will be an arm of the ADL or closely linked to the ADL. I wouldn't be surprised if Hope Not Hayes here in Britain was had some connections with the ADL or whoever, whatever. I wouldn't be surprised uh, because they're all seem to be connected, don't they? But that's what's happening now around the world. Our movement, there's an onslaught against it via infiltration and leading it down dead-end roads going nowhere of neo-nazism violence hail trump 
silly statements and comments and whatever. And people find it hard to believe. They think Joe Owens has made it all up. Well, like I keep saying, what have they brought the table? All those I accuse? Nothing. In fact, they brought the table that much embarrassment, shame, violence, that it will demonise us forever. I'm sure it will. But their aim is also to rub off on Trump. Because whatever Trump's bad mistakes in the Middle East, he's still a threat to the leftist shadow government. They don't like him. And they're going to use all they can to bring him down. And that includes Richard Spencer and the rest of the swines that work for the Southern Poverty Law Centre. Okay, thank you.